Good evening. Good evening, parents. Good evening, students. And welcome to graduation 2021. Now, this is our last graduation, and when you count the last two years and the 15 months we suffered through this pandemic, that is probably some kind of record that we've done. This is our 16th graduation. So that's a lot on this crowd. So I expect this crowd to be what they would call the coup de gras. <laughs> that is, you show us your Brentwood pride. You show us that you are ready to celebrate tonight and you are ready to celebrate your graduate. You are ready to celebrate this community and you just are ready to celebrate. So I need everybody to be loud. So I'm gonna do, and I know I'm stealing a little bit of Mr. Feliciano's thunder, but it's the last one and I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna give you a test, all right, on this one before we begin. I wanna see, and I'm gonna to count to three. So I really took his thunder, <laughs> but he'll do it again. And I'm gonna to count to three, and I wanna see the loudest roar from this crowd. This is the, la remember, this is the last graduation in the 16 we've done in two years. This class has been through it for 15 months. They have earned it, so let's show them how loud we can be, how celebratory we can be, and let's have that kind of vibe throughout the whole ceremony. So I'm gonna count, one, two, three. All right, we have it. Come on, some of these noisemakers, you got to come out a little louder than that. All right, so I'm going to try it again. One, one more time. One, two, three. All right. Okay. Now that's the way to start a celebration of a graduation, and I want that, like I said, that vibe and that that feeling to be throughout this graduation because it truly is, um, as we would all say, a labor of love for us and definitely something we want to definitely express to you because this is important to us and definitely important to you and most of all to the graduates because you only get one high school graduation. So let's celebrate tonight. At this time, I'm going to ask for everybody to stand for the presentation of the colors and then Sophia Seda is going to come up and sing the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in
I ask that you remain standing while I read a memorial on some, uh, a student and a staff member that we lost. In the past year, we have lost two beloved family members of the Brentwood School District. Bernice Simmons, a student of this class, and Miss Lillian Looney. Bernice Simmons, she's a member of the class of 2021, whom we lost last summer. Her desire for social justice and her love of basketball and sneakers are just three of the many qualities that all who knew her adored about her. Miss Lillian Looney loved all things Bremwood, as Bremwood loved her. She taught her students to love family and chemistry just as much as she did. Unfortunately, her time here tragically was cut short just a week ago. Today we give tribute to Bernice and Ms. Looney and all those who are not physically with us today, but remain with us in spirit and in Bernice's honor, as well as in the memory of students, teachers, staff, leaders who have walked our halls, graced our classrooms, and championed our community. We presented Bernice's diploma and gifts with the class of 2021 during what would have been her ceremony. And I believe a relative of her family is here at this last ceremony, Mr. Neil Washington. He is here in honor and to pay homage to Bernice. Throughout today and every day, we ask that you honor the memory of those we have lost by spreading kindness, compassion, and understanding as often as you can. One Brentwood today and forever. El año pasado, perdimos a dos miembros ambados de la familia del Distrito Escolar de Brentwood, Bernice Simmons y la señora Lillian Looney. Bernice Simmons, integrante de la clase de 2021, la perdimos el verano pasado. Su deseo de justicia social y su amor por el baloncesto y las zapatillas deportivas son solo tres de las muchas cualidades que todos lo que conocía adoraban de ella. La señora Lillian Looney amaba todas las cosas de Brentwood, así como Brentwood la amaba a ella. Les enseñó a sus alumnos a amar la familia y la química tanto como le gustaba a ella. Desafortunadamente, hace dos semanas, su tiempo se acortó trágicamente. Hoy rendimos homígene a Bernice y la señora Looney y a todos aquellos que no están físicamente con nosotros hoy, pero que permanecen con nosotros en espíritu. En honor a Bernice, así como en, en memoria de los estudiantes, maestros, personal y líderes que recorrieron nuestros pasillos, adoran nuestras aulas y defendieron nuestra comunidad, presentamos el diploma a los regalos a Bernice de la clase de 2021. A lo largo de hoy y todos los días, le pedimos que honoren la menor memoria de aquellos que no hemos perdido, difundiendo amabilidad, compasión, comprensión tan a menudo como les sea posible. Un Brentwood hoy y siempre. Okay, before we begin, I would ask all graduates and families to please uh, yeah, take a seat along with everyone else. You may be seated at this time. So good evening to the class of 2021, and good evening to all assembled staff, administration, members of our Board of Education, and the assembled family and friends. This is your moment, this is your graduation. So let's celebrate those students with one more loud applause for the class of 2021. It's my honor to congratulate the class of 2021 on your high school graduation. 
You got through a year of quarantine, Teams meetings, Zoom get-togethers, masks, nasal swabs, contact tracing, social distancing, and despite it all, here you are on this day and on this field for your graduation. Over the last 15 months, we saw schools, restaurants, and many businesses forced to close. Professional sports came to a halt and then resumed without fans. We saw Broadway and movie theaters shut down, which were all unprecedented in our lifetimes. And yet, education, that's right, education persevered. We learned new modes of instruction, hybrid and remote learning became our norm. This truly was the greatest challenge of our generation. Now, 15 months later, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, with lowered infection rates and vaccines helping us to return to our new normal and the hope of a summer bringing us joy and happiness with our family and friends. Each of you sitting here today, please always remember that you are blessed with great potential. So continue to be upbeat and focused on your future plans. Each of you should build upon the strong foundations you have received here at Brentwood High School. One of hard work, sportsmanship, volunteering, and most of all, especially in the last 16, 15 months, sacrifice. I encourage you to always be proud of the roots here, your roots here in the truly unique and special community that is Bremwood. Now in the last 15 months, we have experienced the closures. We are very familiar with the closures, but we have also seen great awakenings. In many ways, the pandemic forced us to see ourselves in community with one another. We had to slow down, cover our faces, and social distance, all designed to keep each other safe. That daily act of care for one another was absent in many of our busy and hectic lives in pre-pandemic. We were forced to focus many of our concerns outside of our individual needs and refocus on the needs and the concerns of others. We have had a shared awareness of who is truly essential and we have had awakenings on social and racial justice that can only make us better as a school, a community, and yes, as a nation. At Brentwood High School, we saw awakenings firsthand as our athletic teams restarted their inter-school competitions and once again made playoffs. Our Green Machine marching band once again was able to perform and perform they did, winning competitions much as they had pre-pandemic. We also were able to open in-person events and activities throughout the school as we move from late winter into spring. Your class can be proud of all these accomplishments, which brought joy once again to our school community. In academics, we had students succeed despite the odds and with the support of the teachers, yes, the teachers, who were truly heroic in how they quickly adapted to teaching in a way they never had and had never been trained in. Instruction was adopted to hybrid and remote learning, and yet we still have students in this class who once again are attending some of the finest universities in the United States, and in fact, in all of the world. Now, if I may have a point of privilege in this part of my speech, I would like to explain to each of the graduates the item that each one of you were given as you entered the field, this item that you were given. It might have puzzled you because, in fact, it is a golf ball. So I will explain its significance. Recently, I came upon an article that discussed the making and the design of the golf ball. As I was reading this article, I discovered that when the little round ball was first invented, it was completely smooth, unlike the ball you have, and that is the standard today. You see, what they noticed was that as you hit the ball, a dent or a dimple is formed. And what the inventors came to realize was that these dents, in fact, caused the ball to travel farther. And the more of them that you had on a ball, the farther it would soar. Hence, the longer you could drive it. With this knowledge, the inventors went back and redesigned the ball to the one that is used in the game today and the one that you are holding today. Now, you might be sitting there and thinking, what does this have to do with me? Well, I'll tell you. I began to think of this year and the fact that many of our lives are filled with dents and dimples. 
the hardships at times caused by the different hits we take along the paths of life. I further related it to the past 15 months and the hardships and challenges all of you faced as you finished your high school career. All of these hits and dimples represented your life up to now, so I challenge you to use those to motivate you to soar through the rest of your life's goals and to take your dreams as far as your imagination and determination will allow. I challenge you to drive yourself to succeed in whatever path you choose. Keep this tiny memento as a promise to yourself that you will redesign your life, grow and learn from these hits and these dimples in the drive to your future goals. Now I would like to ask that each one of the graduates hold these up. And I'm gonna keep standing here if I don't see everybody hold them up. So I want him to hold them up, hold them up high. Come on graduates, hold them up high. Okay, as we look out, everyone can see the rainbow of colors which further reflect the truly unique social, racial, and cultural diversity of this student body. This is unlike any other high school in this region and that is something we are proud of and it is the source of our strength. So I think that deserves a round of applause. That is the source, our uniqueness, our diversity. That is our strength and that is your strength. Class of 2021, you are the true embodiment of strength, courage, and resilience. So students, be proud. Hold your heads up high as you soon will be joining the ranks of the many who proudly call themselves Brentwood alumni. Leave here today and soar into the next phase of your life, for the future belongs to you. So take it. And never forget, and this is important, never forget you are all Brentwood strong. My congratulations once again to the class of 2021 from your very, very proud, very proud principal. I salute you all. Congratulations. Thank you. At this time, I will call to give uh, a speech here our president of the Board of Education, Mr. Robert Feliciano. Good evening, buena tarde, eh, mi gente de Brentwood. Qué bonito verlo hoy. Este, voy a empezar con lo siguiente. El señor principal, el señor Callan, le pidió al principio que por favor dieran el grito más harto, que dieran el aplauso más fuerte que tenían dentro de ustedes. Y fíjate, yo lo estaba escuchando, es la, la cuarta vez que nosotros hacemos esto en los últimos dos días. Pero qué pasa, que lo entiendo que es un poquito tarde, el día está caluroso, pero también entiendo que el mensaje que él dio fue solamente en inglés. Y aquí la mayoría de la gente, pues, yo me imagino que habla español. Así que yo voy a contar con, ese, con esa ventaja que tengo de, re, de haberle llevado este mensaje en, en español y luego en inglés para que nosotros, este pueblo de, este pueblo de Brentwood, haga un mejor trabajo que hicieron la primera vez. Cuento con ustedes, cuento con la sangre caliente que tiene ese pueblo latino, right? y cuento con que le estoy llevando este mensaje en dos idiomas. Así que en un momento voy a contar hasta tres para tratar de ver si nosotros podemos hacer un mejor trabajo que hicieron la primera vez. Ahora la parte en inglés. Good evening, everybody. When we started the program, our great principal, Mr. Callan, who I adore, absolutely, put me to a challenge. He put me to a challenge. So I basically told everybody who speaks Spanish that we were going to try to do this again. And the advantage that I had was that although I repeated the same message that he gave a little while ago, I'm doing it in both English and Spanish, therefore, I have probably reached much more people than he did. So we're going to do this again. We're going to do a countdown, and I'm going to count to three, right? And what I want to do is I want to far exceed 
anything that you guys have ever heard in a stadium, and you guys are going to be the culprits. You're going to scream and holler to celebrate this accomplishment of your loved ones. To the students, listen, a little nudge, right, in the ribs, whether they're screaming to celebrate or it's just pain, it doesn't matter. I just want to hear the screams, okay? So we're going to do this, right? One, uno, two, dos, three, tres, scream! Congratulations! That was okay. That was okay. But let me tell you something. This is the last group of the day. We've been here for two days. I need a little bit more because you guys are going to make the, make the record here, okay? We're going to do this again. No countdown. I'm going to say congratulations 2021, and you guys are going to do it all over again. Ready? Congratulations, class of 2021! All right. All right, that's good. Perfect. Now, the funny thing is, is that I don't know, but there's kind of like a gentleman's competition going on here because Mr. Callan has stepped up, and I just don't even know. I was kind of blown away. But our last speaker of the night, Mr. Lochner, he's just, he's got some magic, like, like dust. I don't know what it is that he's got that absolutely just blows you away. So let's do this again. I'm going to ask our board members if you can step up to the, to the front. This is, you can give him a round of applause. Absolutely. So, so these, are, these are my colleagues, or some of my colleagues on the Board of Education. We are missing two. Um, and um, this, is, this is part of the group, part of the team, that has um, done everything in their power to make sure that the last 15 months was the best that it possibly could be. And I know that it was short in so many ways, but you have to understand that we didn't know what the rules of the game were. Everything was just evolving as uh, the pandemic um, took hold of the community, took hold of this country. Um, señora y señora, este, son miembros de la Junta. Este, somos ciudadanos aquí de Brentwood. Y son parte del grupo de las de la personas que tomaron las decisiones durante los últimos 15 meses para hacer lo mejor que se podía con este pueblo. Um, in addition to, to the board members, and in addition to, in addition to the thanks that I owe each and every, every, every one of them for everything they don't, they've done as volunteers, um, I also want to thank uh, the staff of the Brentwood School District, all the way down from the, you know, from the part-time custodians, the part-time food service workers, to the full-time clerical, full-time service, uh, food service, TAs, monitors, custodians, uh, B&G, security, uh, clericals, teachers and administrators. Without the team effort, we would not have had the ability to um, provide what we did this year. Um, again, we know that you know, it may have fallen short but this is, this is something that generations to come will speak about in the history books, and we live through this. Um, so to, to, that, to that group of people and to the team of people that's assembled behind me, including um, our superintendent, Mr. Lochner, assistant superintendent, uh, Ms. Ortiz Rivera, assistant superintendent, um, Dr. Monique Aris, uh, uh, Darisol Akil, uh, Ms. Uh, Ann Palmer, who's also Assistant Superintendent, and our Director of Special Services, Ms. Rhonda Young. Um, I really, really um, believe with all my heart that we couldn't have had a more fabulous team of people to lead us through the last 15 months. And for them, I'm asking that you please give them a round of applause. Thank you. One more, one more group of people that I know that you're going to be more than delighted to um, acknowledge, and that is to the parents and the guardians and the loved ones sitting next to you. Um, because you know that education is a partnership between the parents and the guardians and the school district. 
without your cooperation, without your patience, without all of the love and care that you've given your own children, this is an impossible feat to accomplish. So to that measure, I'm going to ask everybody to please give the parents and guardians a big round of applause. So now to the class of 2021. Congratulations on behalf of the Board of Education. The Board of Education commends you for the willpower, commitment to education, and maturity that led you to this moment. All graduating seniors tri uh, experience trials and difficult moments along the way to commencement. But perhaps no class has experienced more than more, has experienced this more than members of the class of 2021. The latter halves of your high school years were marked by unprecedented challenges. The coronavirus pandemic and the resultant closing of school buildings for the remainder of the school year placed an unbelievable burden on your graduating class and took from you precious moments with school district staff, friends, clubs, and teams. All of us on the Board of Education empathize with what was lost, and we are so inspired to see how you persevered. As we begin the, low, the long, slow process of returning to normalcy, we want you to know that through it all, we recognize your accomplishments and commitments to self-improvement through education. With all the challenges we still face, we want to make sure that we still find the time to celebrate you and place the spotlight on your achievements while also having some much needed fun during our last days together. Additionally, we want you to take comfort in the fact that the class of 2021, like the class of 2020 before you, will endure for years as a symbol of determination in the face of adversity. As we continue your inexorable march toward adulthood in a, in a challenging and an uncertain world, always remember that we are proud of you and who you were in the moments while you were students in Brentwood. Have faith in yourselves. Believe that you now possess the knowledge and the tools necessary to thrive, tools given to you by so many different people within the Brentwood community that truly cared about your well-being. Know that the Brentwood School District community, including your friends, family, and entire faculty, has always and will always stand behind you. Congratulations and many blessings to each and every one of you. Mucha bendiciones. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Feliciano. And I'd like to point out that the board members that were standing here, led by Mr. Feliciano, they have been here for all 16 of these ceremonies over the last two years. These are people that volunteer, they have their own jobs, they have a life outside of their work on the board, but they spend countless amount of hours and time. And I think for that effort that they make, I think I'd like a big round of applause for our Brentwood Board of Education. Uh, the next person I'm going to have come up is going to present the uh, Regents, um, Advanced Regents Honors Diploma. But I'm going to take a little time because uh, Dr. Monique darasol Keel has been a member here, a trusted and loved member of our family in the Brentwood School District for the last seven years. She'll be leaving us. She's moving on to become the superintendent in Uniondale. But I just want to say, and yeah, that, that can get a round of applause. That is quite an accomplishment, and we are all so proud, so very proud of her. Um, Dr. Keel has been at my side when I was a middle school principal. Uh, my third year as a middle school principal, she, she came to the district. Uh, she was here as I transitioned up to the high school. Uh, she has been a, a steady influence for me. She has been someone that I admire and I greatly look up to. Um, we have a great relationship. Um, I have two younger sisters who I love them deeply, but I, we have fought. And <laughs> Dr. Akil and I, we have had our share. But as, as hard as we have fought over issues, it's always about the work. And as hard as that happens, we come back together and we support each other. And I truly love her as a person and as the assistant superintendent. And it's my honor to uh, give her this gift and call her up at this time.
Thank you so, so much, Mr. Callan and your administrative team that was not on the program, but I just want to thank um, his team and the entire Brentwood community for this awesome opportunity to serve your children. It has been an adventure of a lifetime, and I feel so blessed and privileged to have had this experience. God bless you all. So now, back to this scheduled program. It is at this time that I have the privilege to acknowledge all of the students who have achieved a Regents Diploma with advanced designation with honors. So if you have achieved an advanced Regents Diploma with honors, please stand at this time. Yes, we want to acknowledge these scholars. To earn a Regents Diploma with advanced designation with honors, a student needs to have a computed average of 90 or higher on all Regents examinations required for the Regents Diploma with advanced designation. So that is a lot of hard work. We salute you, we recognize your achievement, and we know that you will continue to do great things in the future. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Akil. It's now, I'm gonna invite up some of the classmates here, our valedictorian and salutatorians here in the Brentwood Ross and Sondling Center. With us are Ju Julia Spadaro is gonna give this speech. Uh, she is our Ross salutatorian. And with you here are the Ross, I mean the Sondling valedictorian, Nabia Hassan, Eileen Villarreal, the Ross Salutatorian. Eileen will be attending Johns Hopkins University, one of those great institutions I talked about in this country, but in the world next year. Uh, Nabiha will be going on to Yale University in the fall. And Julia, who will be speaking to you next, will be attending the University of Buffalo, another very fine institution. And they deserve a round of applause for their accomplishments over 12 years of their educational life. And without further ado, I'll hold up here to speak to all of you, Julia Spadaro. Good evening, class of 2021. I wanna start by thanking the administration and teachers for making today possible and giving me the opportunity to speak to all of you today. I also wanna take time to thank the parents, family, and friends who are here to support us today. It is because of you that we were able to keep pushing throughout high school. Often, our first teacher are our parents and family, and I encourage all of the graduates to make sure you show your appreciation towards them, especially today. Please take this moment right now to thank the people who are sitting next to you. Although this isn't the graduation we may have wanted or dreamed of, we are all still here graduating, and what an accomplishment that is. This year has been filled with phrases like, although different, virtual, or modified. So we have dealt with not only the challenges of a typical high school experience, but the challenges of a global pandemic. These challenges are what have shaped us into who we are today. It is because of our hard work, determination, and perseverance that we have overcome these challenges and have risen above them. We learn to be selfless and look out for others more than ourselves. We were expected to stay focused in school while trying to understand what was occurring in the world around us. It is because of this that I have no doubt in my mind that our generation will be one to change the world. The lessons we have been forced to learn at a young age is a defining characteristic of this graduating class. One of my favorite aspects about the culture here is that we're all filled with Brentwood pride. Even though we may not know every single person graduating with us, we understand that we have all walked the same halls and dealt with unique struggles. However, high school is such a small portion of our lives. As we have all come together for the past four years at Brentwood High School, we are now all separating our own ways and moving forward to start our lives. Wherever your next chapter takes you, do it with all of your might. Luckily for our generation, we have the power of social media. As we go down our individual roads, we will all stay connected. 
I hope to see in the future all of your accomplishments and achievements, so never take that BHS or Brentwood out of your bios nor your hearts. If you have not heard this recently, I want to genuinely tell you that I am proud of each and every one of us. As we sit here together as one, we have all reached the finish line of our high school careers, despite the different paths we may have taken to get here. One of my favorite quotes that has kept my mind at ease during this somewhat nervous and sad time is what feels like the end is often the beginning. Although seeing high school come to an end may seem frightening, we are all beginning new chapters of our lives. And no matter where life takes us, we will all always bleed green. Thank you. Thank you, Julia, for those very, very, very poignant words and very important words for the graduates of the class of 2021. At this time, I would ask that if we have any of uh, the graduates here that are going to be moving on to joining the armed forces, any of them joining the armed forces in the uh, crowd here, please stand. That's right. Yes, that is. There's two here. There's three. That is, a great, that is a great thing, and we really, really keep standing. Stay standing, please. Uh, we really, really acknowledge that. Do we have any parents who are uh, either veterans or members of the, our military in any form of service? You can please stand as well. We'd like to honor you. Please stand. We want to thank you for your service, and please remain standing. And any parents here that are a part of that essential workforce that I talked about in my speech, any police, fire, healthcare workers, uh, any of our food service workers, um, a lot of times in offices, secretaries, people who worked when a lot of us were locked down and helped keep things running and are a very important part. We salute you. We definitely salute you and we honor you and we thank you all for your service. Thank you. Lastly, I'd like to just honor, before I bring up our last speaker, I'd like to just honor all of the students that won Brentwood High School scholarships. And there are a number of you out in the audience. Don't forget to pick up, when you pick up your diploma, your scholarship. But those students who won Brentwood High School scholarships, please stand at this time. All of you, please stand. Don't be shy. All right, that was a great honor. We hope you take this scholarship money and we use it, and you use it towards fulfilling your com college dreams, and we are happy that you will have that. So make sure you pick that up on the side table before you leave the evening, and also remember, students, to write a thank you note to that person who gave that scholarship. They don't have to do that, but they want to, so it's nice to have an acknowledgement, so please do that. Our last speaker here is someone that um, preceded me as the high school principal. And uh, let me tell you, those are big shoes to follow. Uh, he is a, a man of great integrity. He is a man of great warmth. He is also quite a trailblazer, even in his new role as superintendent of schools. Someone I greatly admire and totally has love for not only the community of Brentwood, but especially for the students and their families. There's no finer gentleman that I would want to be able to call up as our superintendent of schools, and it's my great honor to call up at this time our superintendent of schools, Mr. Richard Lozner. Thank you very much for those kind words, Mr. Callan. Before I actually speak, I'm going to invite Ms. Gans up, and she actually has a special presentation for the Seal of Biliteracy. Can we please give Ms. Gans a hand? The Seal of Biliteracy is a prestigious award granted by the New York State Education Department, a recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. Our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Loeschner, and the Board of Education understand the importance of learning a second language and establish this first seal of biliteracy program in New York State. This year's scholarship recipients are Eleanor Guetta and Jonathan Escobar. If you haven't noticed, a special kind of beauty exists here in Brentwood. When you walk our hallways, 
You will hear our students alternate between languages. It could be English, Urdu, Twi, Turkish, Bengali, Pashto, Creole, Chinese, French, Italian, Portuguese, and of course, Espanol. This is a gift given to you by your parents and grandparents and then nourished by our amazing teachers. We take pride in our bilingualism. Today, we celebrate 210 students who have achieved the remarkable goal to have mastered the English language and a second or a third language. We feel proud and we honor you today. Mis, fel mis felicitaciones, and I wish you success and happiness. I would like these students who have received the seal of biliteracy recognition and the medal to please stand up. Please applaud these wonderful students. We're very proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Ms. Gans. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to address the class of 2021. Can we give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Oh man, we most certainly can do better than that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the last speaker at that point. When I'm finished speaking, I'm going to confer the diplomas on the graduates. So this is the fine, I'm the final speaker and we're gonna leave with some power, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, folks, congratulations to the class of 2021. All right. Thank you so much. It is, I tell you what, this is a thrill, an absolute thrill to be here this evening, especially, especially at what, what we've gone through together as a school community. So I am absolutely honored to be here this evening and sharing this moment with the families and students and the class of 2021. However, before I begin, I was just thinking, because there is a little bit of a competition between Mr. Callan, Mr. Feliciano, and ourselves here. So we're going to actually do something that has never been done in the history of graduations, folks. Oh yeah, they know what's coming. But it's, I'm, going to be, I'm going to be easy. Can everybody hear me in the stands up there? Can you hear me? All right. Well, you know what? We are thrilled. We are thrilled. We only could make the decision to invite people uh, in addition to the two invited guests of the graduates. We only could do that last week because, as you know, there's been constant changes to the, uh, to the regulations, and it was only last week that we were able to make an addition to uh, our invitees. So what I'm going to ask, which has never been done before in the history of Brentwood, and I suspect in the history of the world, we're going to ask, we're going to ask the audience up in the stands if you could do the wave, and at the conclusion of the wave, when it reaches, we're going to start from my left to the right. When it reaches the end, we're going to we're going to scream. Okay, so are you guys ready at the beginning? Because you're starting it. Can, can you wave at me? All right. When I count to three, since that's the number we can we've been counting to, on the number three, you're going to start the wave for us. You ready? First time in the history of the world, ladies and gentlemen. You might want to get your cell phones out for this. One, two. Three. All right, all right, all right. All right. Woo! <laughs> Woo! All right. That was that was fantastic. That really was actually it was like we practiced that. That was actually really good. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just have a speech, and I would, first of all, in my speech, I'm going to thank quite a few people. Uh, the Board of Education has been recognized by a number of people, but I am going to just spend a moment. I mean, you, you know in normal times, the Board of Education, they spend an incredible amount of time in meetings, committees, uh, events like this, and, and dozens of other events. But since the pandemic hit, they literally have put in hundreds and hundreds of hours. And you know why? They do everything possible to ensure that your students have every advantage possible to them. So once again, I would like to thank the Board of Education. 
We can, we can clap for that one, ladies and gentlemen. I, I apologize. That was a lousy lead up, and I, I have to do better than that. Uh, my cabinet has also been recognized, but they are tremendous people. They internalized, and I have to tell you this, they truly internalized the struggle students and families were going through during this pandemic, and they worked around the clock, ladies and gentlemen, to ensure schools, administrators, teachers, and staff had the tools necessary to meet the challenges this pandemic threw our way. So once again, can we give a round of applause to the cabinet? This next group, again, I am so very grateful to work with. I am grateful to the administrators, teachers, TAs, monitors, security, nurses, clericals, buildings and grounds, technicians, food service workers, who collectively made it their mission to meet the needs of students and families during these difficult times. Most people may not realize, but during the height of the shutdown last spring and summer, we were giving out or delivering up to 90,000 meals per week. That deserves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for their efforts. Before each of us had a device, school staff last year handed out or delivered tens of thousands of packets and books. And this past fall, we mobilized an army of people to distribute and train students and staff on the effective use of over 16,000 laptops, 1,100 cameras and microphones, and new software to go along with this new equipment. Do not get me wrong, folks. I know we were far from perfect. But in our efforts, what we did as a situation, as a, as a district, we took this situation and we knew our outcome was going to be flawed. But we still met every challenge and every setback with resolve and a determination that was outstanding. Can we give our staff a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Next, I would like to address the parents and guardians and families. This is the first opportunity I have in person to address a very special group of people. I know, I know how difficult it has been for families. I know moms and dads rearranged their lives in order to be home to help their sons and daughters. I know many parents reduced their work hours or left their jobs completely while others put promotions on hold and others took on completely different jobs in order to be home with your sons and daughters. Your sacrifices were great and varied. And although it is expected that parents make sacrifices for their kids, it should absolutely be recognized and commended. I think your, your actions have largely gone unnoticed during this pandemic. And as a father of three children, whose, whose three kids each were impacted and suffered in varying degrees from this pandemic, I would like to hear and now thank you and recognize the parents and guardians in this great district. You bore the brunt of students' highs and lows, but because of your perseverance, we are here today. So congratulations and thank you to the parents and guardians. Finally, to the outstanding class of 2021, 454 days ago, on Thursday, March 13th, 2020, schools were closed and for the next 15 months, your high school experience was altered. Like my prior comments to your parents, I want to express my gratitude on how you handled this crisis. When deciding about whether you should be green, gold, or fully remote students, many of you chose an option based on the needs of your brother, sister, or family. I want to commend you for your maturity and your understanding. Although I am certain that each of you at times were angry, sad, and frustrated, you handled this change to your education with grace and kindness. As superintendent, again, I want to say publicly 
how indebted I am to the class of 2021. Your leadership and ability to adjust to new learning styles was commendable and the positive impact your leadership had on this district cannot be overstated. Many years ago, in 2016 to be specific, I gave a speech that referenced a famous line. And after the year we had, I'm going to reference that line again because I believe it even more now after witnessing the depths of kindness and selflessness displayed by the Brentwood community. Both John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan referred to the United States as a shining city on a hill. I believe Brentwood is a shining city within that shining city on a hill. Today's graduates represent over 50 different nationalities and a dozen religions. You come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. Some graduates are exceptionally talented in the arts. Others lean towards the sciences where others are athletically gifted. Politicians and pundits speak about tolerance and acceptance as if these are unobtainable goals to reach for, but to never grasp. Within the walls of the Brentwood schools, today's graduates have shared science, English, social studies, and math classes with kids who sound and look very different from themselves. Today's graduates have learned a lesson that cannot be unlearned. Although a person may not look like you, they are still worthy of your love, kindness, and respect. When I stopped by the senior picnic last week, I saw joy, laughter, acceptance, and tolerance for all people, regardless of where they came from or what they look like, which is why I continue to believe Brentwood is a shining city within that shining city on a hill. I have one final wish for the class of 2021. My wish, my wish is that each, each of you see yourselves as I see you and as your parents see you and as every adult here now sees you. You are beautiful and precious young people with unlimited potential, with no restrictions or limits on your dreams. Thank you, class of 2021, for adding to the richness and beauty of Brentwood. And as you pursue your dreams to become doctors, nurses, businessmen, businesswomen, teachers, athletes, carpenters, moms and dads, do so with the knowledge we wish each graduate peace, happiness, and many successes. And please know we will always, always be united through our Brentwood experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the class of 2021. All right, it is, this is my favorite part of the evening. I get to I get to confer the diplomas and make it official. When I'm finished with this, you will officially be Brentwood graduates. However, at the end of the ceremony, Mr. Callan actually has a special treat after you receive your diplomas. But I tell you what, it was so exciting before, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I'm gonna ask, can you guys still hear me over there in the bleachers? All right, we're gonna do it one more time so let's do it, folks, because remember, once, maybe there was somebody else in the world who did it once. Twice, I'm most certain, we are going to be the only ones who did it twice. So you ready? Left to right, and then we scream, and then we confer diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, on three, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please ask the graduates, if you can, please stand in front of your chairs if you are able. Thank you. Please, please rise if you're able. With the necessary certification 
put forth by Mr. John Callen, Brentwood High School principal, that all graduating students have satisfied parts 100.5 and 100.6 of the regulations established by the Commissioner of Education. These regulations list all requirements needed to qualify for a high school diploma. I, as superintendent of schools, and by the authority vested in my office by the laws of the state of New York and by the rules and regulations of the Commissioner of Education and the Brentwood Union Free School District Board of Education, do here and now proudly present for graduation to our Board of Education and the entire Brentwood community, the high school class of 2021. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, folks. You may be seated. Thank you, Mr. Lozner. Uh, before we begin, I really have to say that I definitely accept that challenge, and we will come up with something good at the end that will have Mr. Lozner spinning. So, will you all work with me? You got. I got to hear a big yes. All right, so we will have one final act before we will close out this graduation that will blow away, and I guarantee that might not have been done, the culmination of that at any graduation ceremony. And as the principal, I have that privilege. So we will do that. But before that begins, the point uh, that you're here for and the point, uh, the, you know, the place that your parents are w ready to take their photographs when you walk across this stage. Just please remember to get your diploma, also pick up your scholarship. There are name tags on the back of your chairs. Please take those off and you will line up and you will come on and we will confer your diplomas. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. And then we'll have what I would call my drop the mic moment. All right, so we'll start. We can start, the first row can start standing up. I got them. <laughs> And John, we'll join with one last thing. I would ask that uh, no one leave this ceremony until the last graduate has walked across the stage. I would like that last graduate to see the same audience that the first graduate looks out upon. And so please, please stay through this ceremony and show that respect and give that last student that walks across the stage that same look. So it is very important that you all stay and do not leave the ceremony before it is concluded because we do have something special at the end. Thank you. Jennifer LaChapelle.
Fatima Isabella Lazo Zabala. Jocelyn Vanessa Leal. Daniel J. Linares. Fernando Enrique Linares. Kevin J. Lorenzo. Chelsea Lapa. Tony Ann Lockwood. Andra Paola Lopez. Antonio Xavier, Xavier Lopez. Thank you. Elvis Lopez. Jasmine Eunice Lopez. Mabel D. Lopez. Claudia Marcella Lopez Ramirez. Jasmine Yanez Lorenzo. Tyra Lewis. Dylan Lewis Elias. Oscar A. Luciano Human. Billy Junior Lucarat. Christina Luciero. Kevin Fabricio Lucero. Chrissia Estefania Mahano Caballero. Lester A. Maldonado Medina. Francisco J. Maldonado Medrano. Elder Manchami. Shelby Marsh. Adonis Joel Martinez. Alex J. Martinez. Angela Victoria Martinez. Aristides Martinez. Lionel Martinez. Selena Martinez. Valentine.
Valentin Martinez. <laughs> Leslie Martinez Garcia. Oscar Francisco Martinez Hernandez. Josue Adan Martinez Sanchez. Jenny I. Martinez Saravia. Fatima Michelle Mayen Castaneda. Tatiana Elise Mays. Tahim Talik McCollum. James McGritt Jr. Vladimir Medina. Monica Gabriella Medrano. Naomi Medrano. Jacqueline Patricia, Patricia Mejia. Marjorie Nicole Menjavar. <laughs> Josephine Mensa. <laughs> Diana Lisbeth Mercado Cruz. Kimberly Meza. <laughs> Mohammed R. Mohammed. <laughs> Roberto Molina. Mary Stephanie Munge. Oh, 
Kennedy A. Moore. Jasmine Otticelli Moraga. Alexander Morales. Douglas Giovanni Morales. Zulema Estefany Moran Cortez. Albert Junior Morrell. Christian Moreno. Giselle Moreno. Kenya Moreno. Michelle Moreno. Melcy Moreno Acosta. Edison G. Mosquea. Jocelyn K. Mata Jimenez. Kimberly Munoz. Louis A. Napa. Joel Stephen Navarrete. Kevin D. Navis. Crystal C. Nunez. Luis Andreas Nunez. Litsy Nunez Garcia. Anthony Ochoa. Millennia Julissa Ochoa Vasquez. Gabriel A. Oliveira. Gabriel Oquiendo. Anias Marily Aureliana. Joshua E. Orphandakis. Donovan Edgar Orozco. Angelina Heaven Ortega. Margie Anai Ortiz. Karina Lisseth Ortiz. Oscar Josue 
Lucy Beth Osorio. Jesse Kevin Pacheco. Clarissa Ibeth Padilla. Sabrina Nicole Aaliyah Page. Emily Lisette Paz Duran. Andy M. Palacios Una Unda. Cesar Lewis Panameo. Emerson Panamino.
Elizabeth Rebecca Pineda. Genesis Paola Pineda Dubon. Louis Palma. Melanie Ponguilo. Christopher Curtis Poor the Second. Chloe M. Portia. Jamie Maria Portillo. Catherine Portillo. Wendy Yanath Portillo. Josue Ise Portillo Diaz. Juan Pablo Posada. Jamie Amira Prester. Kelly A. Pisati. <laughs> Linda Nicole Quizada. <laughs> Courtney Francis Quinlan. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Ralda. Martha Guadalupe Ramirez Alvarado. Julio Isaac Ramirez Magna. Reinhardt Joshua Ramkasun. Timothy Ramkasun. Monica M. Ramos. Sigfredo Ezekiel Ramos. Ryan A. Ray 
Stephanie Paola Reyes Cabrera. Myra Abigail Reyes Martinez. Anthony Alexander Rivas. Clara Millennia Rivera. Jalissa Marie Rivera. Joseph Alexander Rivera. Juan Carlos Rivera. Paola Rivera. Ashley Rodriguez. Chellis Saray Rodriguez. Ives Claris Rodriguez. Karen Amanda Rodriguez. Marlene Rodriguez. Noel Rodriguez. Roxana Mary Lou Rodriguez Cruz. Catherine Noemi Rodriguez Moran. Chris Marley Rodriguez Polanco. Darwin Ramon Rodriguez Rodriguez. Christopher Paul Romero. Jalen Ariana Rosales. Xavier Rosario. Aaron Jordan Roy. Gustavo Ruiz Aureliana. <laughs> Carla Beatrice Savarina Savita. Edison Xavier Sagbe Marca. Michelle Ann Salayas. <laughs> Kalia Orifawan Sinai Antwi. <laughs> Raul A. Salazar Jr. Natalia Patricia Salmarone. Sal <laughs> Natalia is also the recipient of the Steve Ballone Public Service Award. Deanna Teresa Salvador. Kariu 
Anushka, Yadira, Salvatierra, Riva. Darwin, Darwin, Eli Eliza Sanchez. Diana Angelina Sanchez. Dianara Luisa Sanchez. Jenna Ray Sanchez. Joshua Alexander Sanchez. Katie Selena Sanchez. Jose R. Sanchez Jr. Samuel Jr. Serrano. Award. Kaylin Viriliana St. Victor. Deshana Stokely. Muhammad Subban. Tania 
Chris Taylor. Jay Thomas. Ruby Diamond Thomas. Brian Tenio. Rebecca Toledo. Yes. 
Lopez. Raquel Esmeralda Vasquez Villanueva. Jordi Vasquez. Ashley Samantha Velasquez. Brian David Velasquez. Brian Alexis Velasquez. Jasley Alexa Velasquez. Juan Carlos Velasquez. Nadalyn Y. Velasquez. Nada Raquel Velasquez. William Velasquez. Karen Pineda Belize. Jennifer Ventura. Brandon Vernon. Christopher Alexander Vieira Garcia. Robinson Alexander Vigil Mendez. Elder G. Villalta Benitez. Merica Villatoro Padilla. Christopher B. Valeda. Juan Elias Villegas. Sabrina Wedig. Crystal Linda Amanda White. Jeremiah Ann White. Nija Alicia Whitehead. Stormel Ann Williams. Akib Zaman. Joshua Feliz Zamat. Andrew Zabata. James Zuniga. And there you have it.
We have a couple more things to finish before we end our night. Okay, I would like a big, big cheer and round of applause for the class of 2021. All right, let's hear it. As I started with, this is our, this is our 16th ceremony over the last 15 months. I don't think, so Lotion talked about records, I don't think there's one high school that anywhere that did that in 15 months. But that was something, like I said earlier, it was a labor of love. It was something we wanted to do for you, and we're glad that we could do that. And so we are here celebrating our final and last graduation, but we're going to end the night the right way. I just want to give, uh, give some thanks to some special people that made this possible um, and some people that are going to be graduating themselves and leaving. Um, we have one of our security officials, John Sanchez. He's going to be leaving us. He's been here in the district for 32 years. He is retiring and we will miss him. He is an outstanding gentleman and it was my pleasure to work with him and the pleasure of everybody to work with him. So good luck, John, and best wishes. We also have my secretary who is retiring, Lynn Boyle. I don't know where Lynn is. She, she was over on the side. Lynn, over 25 years of service in the Brentwood schools. She is retiring. I don't know what I'm gonna do without her, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. Um, I also would like to thank uh, my administrative team. The administrative team here at the high school is second to none. They work hard, they care, they really, really, day in and day out, do what is necessary to provide your students with the safest and best environment for them to learn. And uh, they help make this ceremony what it is, and I'd like to congratulate all my administrative team. They're assembled over there, and I'm gonna ask them to assemble towards the middle. Dr. Doolin, will you please assemble the administrative team? And uh, last but not least, I do want to thank all our Brentwood security forces. They make this possible uh, day in and day out. They keep our schools safe and orderly, and they do a great job uh, under the supervision and leadership of Byron McRae, and we thank them. So a big round of applause for the Brentwood School security team. Our custodians, our custodians in the buildings and our buildings and grounds uh, people, they couldn't make this field and they couldn't set up this graduation the way that they do without their help. They are outstanding. So a big round of applause for the B&G staff and our custodians here at the high school. They do a great job. Also our IT department, which live streamed and uh, recorded all these and provided the sound system and the mic checks and all the electronics that are necessary to make this ceremony what it is. So a big round of applause for the whole IT team. And last but not least, I want to thank two individuals. They make this ceremony what it is. They've been doing it for years, and they never, they never disappoint. They work tirelessly. This is months in the making. There's a lot of things to do and a lot of things to prepare for, and they do it well. And there's no two people that I would leave this to and trust. Uh, Mr. Gessick, Mr. Jim Gessick, assistant principal in the Ross Building, please come up. And Ms. Judy Crawford, who is up here. We want to present to you something in our thanks for all your efforts. As, as I would say, and I've said, it's a labor of love, and I know it is for you. So thank you for all you do. Also, let's not forget, let's not forget our Brentwood Fire Department and our Ambulance Corps that were all here. Those first responders that were here for us and have been here at every graduation. So we thank them. They provided the parade that we did last year when everything was on lockdown to celebrate the class of 2020. So they do a great job. But we're not done. We're not done. So we're not done. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna be louder in a minute, but we're not done. So I was uh, challenged. I'll give them a minute to so remember, I was challenged here, and as the proud principal of Brentwood High School, I always meet a challenge, just like you met the challenge over these last 15 months. And you persevered, and you won, and you won this race. Could someone quiet them down? Hold 
on. Okay. They just got to hold on for a minute. I just want, I just need one minute from them. I want them to be loud, but just give me a minute. So, Mr. Lotion was up here, and he had the bleachers do the wave, and I think I can top that, and I am going to top that, so I'm going to ask my administrative team to come out here towards the side here. And on the count of three, they're going to start a wave that's going to go through the crowd, this side, then through this side, finishing up with the bleachers, and then our fire department will be as loud as you can imagine. So let's do that. Let's do that for this class. Let's end the night the right way with that celebratory vibe, and let's have that moment. So on the count of three, I will have my administrative team. I will pass off to them. They will start. We'll start this side. We'll go through this side, and then what's ever left on the bleachers, okay? One, and be loud. Be especially loud. Come on, this is the end of 16. Be especially loud. Two, okay? Three. All right, all right. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy. Good luck. Best wishes to the class of 2021. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You have to, you have to turn your tassels. So, everybody, every graduate that's standing there, turn your tassel from left to right, and you are an officially a Brentwood High School graduate. Congratulations. Throw those caps up. Celebrate. You, in, you deserve it, and enjoy. Thank you.